Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today we are making an awesome veggie burger recipe that uses chipotle, also butternut squash and white beans. So I'm calling it a chipotle butternut squash white bean burger. <laughs> they are so easy to make. They're absolutely delicious and they freeze really well. They're baked instead of pan fried, so they're healthier and they're packed with so much flavor. I know you guys are gonna love these. So the full recipe is up on the blog for you. It's already ready for you to make it if you want to. So you can find the link right down below this video in the description box. And before we dive in, I do just want to encourage you to subscribe if you are not yet part of our community here on YouTube. There's a red button right below this video that says subscribe just tap that button and you'll be subscribed. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so to get started, we are going to add some cubed butternut squash into our food processor. You could either buy pre-bought or you could do it yourself. We're also gonna add in some chopped up shallot as well as two to three garlic cloves. Then you will pop the lid on your food processor and just process this up until it's kind of like ground up, I guess you could say. We're basically just looking for the butternut squash to be more of a finer texture. So when you remove the lid, it should look somewhat like this. And then we are going to add in the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna add in a can of Great Northern beans or white beans or navy beans. They're basically all the same thing. You could also use chickpeas. We're also gonna add in one to two, maybe three if you like spice, chilies in adobo sauce. I would recommend two. We're also gonna add in some rolled oats some cooked quinoa, a flax egg to help bind everything together, some cumin, a little salt, some pepper, and some flaxseed meal. And you could also add in some additional spices if you wanted. Pop the lid back on the food processor and blend this up or basically just pulse it all together until a thick dough type consistency starts to form. I really find that pulsing is the best. You might have to scrape down the sides a little bit depending on how full your food processor is. But in the end, you're looking for something that is kind of sticky, but you can form it into patties. So once you have that consistency, you are going to do just that, form it into patties. And I do them about the size that like a normal hamburger would be. So I don't know, maybe like half of a cup of the mixture in my hand. This is what the burgers look like, and then you will transfer all of them onto a parchment-lined baking sheet. You could try to pan fry these, but I personally find that baking them, you just get a better consistency, so that's how I would recommend cooking them. Once you have them all on your baking sheet, you are going to pop them in the oven at 375 degrees, and you're just gonna bake them up until they are basically crispy on the outside, and you do have to flip them once halfway through. And now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to serve them. So I just have a gluten-free burger bun here, and I like to do a layer of vegan queso on the bottom. I buy this at the store. This is from Siete, but you could also use my cashew queso if you wanted. I'll link that down below for you. It just adds a little extra moisture to the burger and it just pairs really nicely with that chipotle. Then I do a layer of sliced tomato, top it with my burger, do some greens on top, either spinach, romaine, arugula is also really good. And then I'd like to do a drizzle of vegan mayo mixed with sriracha and a dash of the adobo sauce. And it's like spicy, so good. You could also use a tahini mixture if you wanted, just something that's like saucy and good. Even ketchup would be really good. But I love adding sauces on top of veggie burgers because it helps to just like enhance the flavor even more. And again, adds a little bit of moisture and makes everything so yummy when you bite into it. So that pretty much does it. This is one of my favorite burgers. I think it's perfect for fall. It's a great way to use butternut squash. Definitely recommend giving it a try if you're a burger fan because I think you guys are really, really, really going to like these ones. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's veggie burger recipe. I love a good veggie burger, and these are one of my favorites. They are perfect for the fall, awesome for meal prep, vegan, gluten-free, and really flavorful. They also freeze well, which is awesome. And I think if you baked them, you could also grill them afterwards if you wanted, if you wanted to make them in the summertime. So I hope you guys do give them a try. The recipe is up on the blog, like I mentioned. You can find the link right down below this video in the description box. If you have any questions for me, make sure to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I think that's all I have. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting this red button right below this video before you go. And otherwise, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.